can you tell us about the common ground between Islam and the rest of the American society? And what are the values that can be shared between both Muslims and non-Muslims in America? Yeah, there is tremendous common ground between Muslims in this country and the general American public. We find that Muslims are, like American people <clears throat> by nature, are freedom-loving and very uh, religious uh, people. Uh, the freedom-loving is freedom with justice and with peace. And there is a contradiction on the part of many American people who believe in a, who have actually sometimes created a new religion. And this new religion is called patriotism. And with this new religion comes the idea that anyone who is critical of what the government does must be unpatriotic or that they don't show their love for this nation whenever we make criticisms. And because of the uh, theological emphasis in Islam on standing firmly for justice and speaking out against oppression, many Americans who believe in this religion of patriotism find that Muslims are somehow unpatriotic when we speak out against the excesses of government in this country. But by the grace of God, the atmosphere that has been created in this country over the last few years of division uh, and polarizing people based on religion and ethnicities, that by the grace of Allah, this may be coming to an end or we are approaching a period in which people will find a greater understanding and common, uh, and common ground with one another. So Islam and the Muslim community in this nation, just as the Christian and the Jewish communities, if we adhere to the principles of our faith and not create this ultra-nationalistic and this new religion of ultra-patriotism, then we'll find the common areas in which we can function uh, and bring this nation together. How do you see the future of interaction between Muslims and non-Muslims in America? And what do you think is the responsibility of each group in order to have a better understanding and a deeper relations? Yeah. I think the future of this interaction between Muslims and non-Muslims uh, has a, there's a brighter future ahead for us. I believe that, like in any country, the leadership of the country sets a tone for how people are to view the world through what lens and prism do the people see the rest of the world. And in this country, unfortunately, uh, there has been a climate over the last few years that has been set that Muslims, basically every Muslim represents a potential threat to the Western way of life, whatever that may be at this point. But I think that with the change in the administration, that it affords the American people an atmosphere or the potential for an atmosphere in which we can begin to understand and dialogue more and work together more in an atmosphere that is more conducive to cooperative relations than we have had in, within the last few years. It is very important, it is extremely important that we work on these relationships. It is not something that comes naturally, even within this diverse Muslim community that we have in this nation. We can't just assume that because we all have the same faith that we are going to cross our cultural and racial and ethnic comfort zones and begin to try to learn about Muslims of other ethnic ethnicities and race uh, than ourselves. We have to work on that, even within the intra-Muslim relationships have to be worked on. So similarly is the case as it relates to the inter, uh, the going between the, the Muslims and the Christians and the Jews and other faith communities. It's something that really has to be consciously identified as being important and we have to work on it.